Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on hacking Luigi's Mansion. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the program by Space Cats that he just recently released at SMS Realm. It's a program that is able to to edit the behavioral values in Luigi's Mansion for enemies, AI, health bar, and and values for for objects. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is you're going to need um, GameCube Rebuild Tool, Luna Boy Rark Tools for extracting and packing an ARC file, and yay0ank.exe which is it, which is to turn a turn a, a ARC file to an SCP. So, and of course, you're going to need WinRAR to extract the the program by Space Cats. If you haven't downloaded the the parameter editor yet for Luigi's Mansion, go check out SMS Realm and look at Space Cats post on it. He he said a couple things that are helpful. Um so first of all, well, I don't have the root for LM yet. So, say you don't have it. So, so you got to go to GameCube Rebuilder, which is this is where it is, and this is these are the folders where I save all the utilities. Um now you want to go to image open and you want to open like the original version of the ISO. Now, I have some mods of the ISOs that I've made, but I want to extract from the original because so that if if I'm going to restart, then I can always do that. So I'm playing the PAL version, so I have the GCM file. Well, it doesn't matter, but um, now this is going to be automatically highlighted, the root, and don't worry about this stuff. Um, so you want to right click this and click on export, and then choose a destination for the directories. Now I put it in this folder and all that, and and then it takes about a minute, so okay it'd be done now and now when you wait when you're done waiting now um, I recommend going to image close now now close GCR and then go to wherever you downloaded it it should be called root to avoid confusion rename it LM root so if you haven't downloaded arc tools yet from Luna boy then go to romhacking.net and search up arc tools for for GameCube utilities. You can just go to utilities and and put in the console for GameCube and then look and then scroll down for them. And there's a forum on Data Crystal that you can go to and there was this guy, he went by the name Washpenner. He he compiled the CPP files to get of the A0 uh, compressor. You can go check that out and download it from there. Now, first of all, we have the the program. Well, wherever you downloaded it, I recommend making separate folders like I did for these programs. But there's going to be two DLLs and an EXE. Open up this EXE and it's called Pyrameter Editor version 1.7. Now as you see it is in early development but it's really good for an early version. So it's, it is written by Space Cats and this is some info here. And now first of all what kind of files do you need and how to find them? Okay well just watch. So I'm gonna go um to the game folder, that's where they would be, and whatever country .scp. SCP stands for Secure Zip Policy, which is Nintendo's formatting for zipping files. So this means Europe, so for the PAL version, so I would copy this and then paste it in wherever the Luna Boy Rock tools are. And then I would I would drag it to Arc Extract, and then it takes about, I don't know, like 10 seconds. Well, 
works the same for event modifying. Now you delete this copy and you want and you want to name this game E. If you don't want to then you don't have to. I mean I I just do that to avoid like any confusion. Um now there's going to be a subfolder called param. You want to click on that. And there's other things like models and effects and for everything. Um now there's going to be two other folders called CTP and two and TH. Now the actual behavior um, PRM files are going to be in this folder CTP. There's, these other ones in C TH, which are the N limited items or whatever, and the small hearts and large hearts and whatever, like the gravity effects and how much health it restores or some or whatever. Which is pretty cool, but let's say we want to change the HP, uh, the HP value for for one of the enemies. I want to change like the orange ghost values. So first, to find which val which files correspond to which enemies and characters, well, you you want to go to Data Crystal colon Luigi's Mansion notes. And there's a whole bunch of data on there that you can find. There's a whole guide on on the room names, the file names, the models, and different AR codes that you can test out for changing Toad, which is kind of funny. But um, I found that the Yapu 1 and 2 are the orange ghosts. So this is going to be the orange ghost, and this is going to be the, the white orange ghost. The Ayapus are the turquoise ghosts, and if you never really played Luigi's Mansion, I'm not going to spoil you. And and these are going to be the gold rats, which are gold rats, of course. And <laughs> and these this is the the purple bat and the yellow bat, and then there's rat one, two, and three, which is down here. The blue rat, the the pink rat, and whatever that rat is. <laughs> uh huh. And okay, so let's say I want to change the HP value for an orange ghost. So I I automatically apply these these files to open up with with this program, since I said like open with blah blah blah. So. I want to go to file open since it doesn't open it automatically like that. So, so let's go click on yapu1.prm. PRM or parameters, they mean like the behavior values or the parameters. Like they range from 0 to 55 and there are a bunch of code that represent like like the what's set to happen in the game and stuff. This tool is pretty cool, and I'm going to show you what it can really do. Um, okay, M life, that means how much HP the enemy has. So, of course, gold ghosts have 10. I guess you could change that to, like, 99. That's pretty cool. Um, now, I did, I did play around with this a little bit, and I found that some of these... Whenever I changed some of these, it made the ghost be unbeatable like it would be too quick when I tried to shine the flashlight on it and I just couldn't beat it so I mean I'm not sure what was causing that problem but but let's just try to change the HP for this tutorial so so the bright color and the ambient color so you can change both of these to the same color to make it like solid colored so let's say I want to change it to a green solid green which is um, highest green value and then ambient lighting which is going to be like the, the glow I think so I mean you could change it to that and make it like a gummy bear ghost <laughs> um, so so let's save it now save yapu one dot perm and yes, you want to overwrite. Okay. And 
then you you just want to change it back to an SCP. And if you already know that, then just skip this part. But I'm gonna show this just for reference. If you don't know, or if you or if you want to refresh your memory, so so you want to do this, of course. And that changes it to an arc. It takes like five seconds. And then you want to delete that folder. And then you want to change this to a RARC, and I'm going to explain why in just a second. Yes, I want to change it. Okay, now you want to copy this in where you put your Yay Zero compressing program, which is the Yay Zero Inc. Now, read me, it says you need your files in RARC format, and then it, I guess this means convert, but yes you wanna open up CMD now or command prompt and you want to you want to tell the pro you want to tell the computer where your program is so game emulation modifying convert and then arc to SCP and then I want to type in the the file name or program and then game e dot rark game e dot scp and this takes about 20 seconds so okay well now that you have your scp you can close out a cmd and you can just delete your rark and the copy so like that and then you just copy and paste this into the same folder as the root and you want to overwrite that file and there you go now you can just delete that SDP and it's just a copy so now you just want to go to GameCube Rebuilder again and you want to open up the root and you have to actually locate it using your mouse and it would be in there yep. okay well now you want to save it and let's just name this ghost test dot iso okay and then you want to rebuild and this takes about three to five minutes so, okay, well now that it'd be done, we could close the route, and now we can go to find where the, where the ISO is saved. I named it ghosttest.iso, and, okay guys, well, I did get the ghost working, and what do you look at that guys? a green orange ghost but when I try to kill them okay let me show you guys I'm unable to kill them I don't know why it does that I really don't know why it does that guys but be sure to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for later videos um let me know in the comments if you still need help or or if this really did work for you and if you guys can give me some advice on how to do this properly then thank you i'll see you guys later and goodbye